Oh, hey, I was just working on my exclusive SolidWorks video content, full length SolidWorks videos and more for my Patreon members only. It's well worth the money. I'm going to put the link in the description box and in the comments. Join my Patreon, grow your SolidWorks career. Welcome to another video with how it's designed in this tutorial of SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to be modeling a Glock pistol magazine release. This part here, it's aluminum. It's got the little texture on it for your thumb. Basically, you press this in to the body of the pistol, allowing the magazine to release so you can reload. It's spring-loaded, very simple design. It's got the uh, spring steel rod that houses the tension and we will go ahead and get started I'm going to show these planes here all right so we're going to start with just a rectangle and i've got my calipers out if you're new to the channel subscribe thanks for the support And it just takes some um, overall dimensions here. We've got about 0.95 in length. Point four seven. Oops. Make sure I'm in the right units. Let me center this thing up. Sometimes you get lucky and they're already centered. Awesome. Go ahead now and add some depth to it. I'm just confirm. All right, let's end the video here. We got a part ready to go. Now, let's continue. Um, the next big feature, basically a C shape. We're gonna cut out that window real quick. Depth now. Point two six. Seems awfully low. Let me reconfirm that. Yep, 
Yeah. 0.26 it is. Now we are going to cut all the way through. Now, next thing we're gonna add is that little recess that's offset. That little notch is as well. Go ahead and do that. So we're gonna start a sketch here. Actually, before we do that, we go ahead and add the fillets because that's gonna make the shape for the offset. You'll see in a minute here. Metric simple fillets. Time out from a video. Are you sick of hearing about newsletters? Well, I am too, because most of them are BS. But let me tell you, if you join my email list and my newsletter, I'm going to put the link below, you're going to get a free SolidWorks guide in return, plus exclusive content and newsletters weekly and bi weekly on SolidWorks. Now, we can sketch on this face. Convert these lines here, offset, yep, and point zero nine. Now we're not done yet, we're going to add this little recessed slot at the end of it. It's got a weird shape to it. We also got to measure how far over it comes over. And I chose the wrong slot type, but still work. Measure that again, actually. Point three five. That's better. Make this a bit smaller here. That's good. It's not a very big slot, just enough to catch that spring rod and retain it. I'm gonna extend these out. Make sure this is a closed loop here. It's not a full slot either, it kind of, that needs to be coincident, yep, yep, alright, I think we might be able to get started here, so we're going to first, with this larger curve, just go down a little bit. this next one we can recess this one down a bit further get 
can hide this sketch here. Same on both sides, of course. These two features we want. No, that's not what we want. Why is it not? There we go. We want two features mirrored. There we go. Boom. And on the one side, it's got this asymmetrical little rectangular extrusion. Now we can add our chamfers underneath on both sides. These look asymmetrical as well. Try it at a sharper angle. Yeah. It's definitely like a 60 degree. Mirror that chamfer. why it's giving me that SolidWorks does not like me most days let's try that again yep all right rolling rolling here Next, we're going to add this little corner cutoff. It's going to be an asymmetrical fillet on this corner here. Let's see what that gives us. Actually, it's, it's pretty close. Let's do... Bump this to a sixteenth. All right, that's pretty good. So we have the main components set. Now we're going to add this corner chamfer here. a 45 symmetrical here we'll save the thumb texture for last symmetrical fillet 0 0.01 sure it's a nice little part very useful, drawn to scale, ready for 3D printing if you want. Pistol magazine release. These are expensive too, so might as well just design your own. Gonna add a material to it. Comment below what videos you wanna see next. Always like, subscribe, all that jazz helps out the channel big time.
join my Patreon. If you're a Patreon member, you get full access to the full length SolidWorks content and more uh, SolidWorks career related stuff. Let's change the color real quick. And that'll do it. Pistol Magazine release. SolidWorks tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching this video all the way through. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, share this video. And you're missing out if you haven't joined my newsletter. I'm going to put my email list in the description. Join that, you'll get a free guide. And to get all my exclusive content on SolidWorks, become a Patreon member.